Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Full Box Friday. Today is the second part of this sweeping Akihabara series that we are opening. If you haven't seen the first part, I'll go ahead and link that in the i cards as well as the description below. I definitely recommend that you go back and check that out because this series is so much fun and the first four figures that we opened were absolutely darling. But if you want to see the next four unboxed, let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go ahead and just take out four of these at random and then we'll look at the packaging and get to opening. All right, so just to show you, we revealed a little bit more of that picture. But like I said, once we take out the other four, I'll see if that comes out so we could see what that picture is all together. So before we get started, we'll go ahead and take a look at the blind box. On the front, it just gives you the series name, which is Sweeping Akihabara, and it shows one of the figures that you can get in this series. The side shows the other 11 plus the secret. The back and the side just give you some more information in different languages and there is a hollow sticker for authenticity. The bottom does let you know the package is recyclable and the top again gives you the series name. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the characters we can get in this series. So you can get the Akiba Building, Virtual Idol, Maid Cafe, Photo Sticker, Call Otaku, Girl Group, Comic, Cyborg Soldier, Figure, UFO Catcher, and Arcade Game. I'm really hoping to get the Arcade Game, but let's see who we get. Okay, perfect. This is the one from the front of the box. And the last video, this was one I was definitely hoping to get and see right away because I absolutely love this. This is so cute. It looks like he has some little like faux little capsules in there. That is really cute. It looks like just one big clump or maybe not. They do move around. So that's kind of cute. And so a gacha porn machine is like I was explaining in the first video is like a quarter machine in the US that you like get gum out of or little trinkets and toys and stuff like that it's kind of the same exact concept so this is really really cute and it looks like it even came with a few accessories which i wasn't expecting so we'll take a look at this real quick so we have some sort of clear thing some sort of pink thing and some sort of green thing so Oh, this looks like one of those little dolls, like the Japanese wooden dolls that I've seen. I don't know what they're called. I'll try to figure that out and throw that up on the screen. But it looks like this just sits in here. And then this, I think, goes on top. There you go. Okay, so this is like one of the little capsules that you would get out of a gacha pun machine, which they are normally little plastic capsules. And like I said, you just open it and there's a cute little toy in there. So I assume it just kind of sits there on the side. But that is honestly absolutely adorable. This tiny little accessory, them including that just puts this figure over the top and I absolutely love that. So we'll take a look at the collector card real quick. If you've never seen a vinyl figure unboxing they typically come with a collector card that has the character picture as well as the name. So this one is called Gotcha Pond Machine. So very cute, very perfect and simple. I love that and I love that this background matches the aesthetic of this figure so perfectly. So we got some accessories. Oops. Okay, perfect. I was waiting for this one. This one is so adorable. I love that this is 3D instead of just printed on her. And I love her little maid hat. It's so cute. Like I said in the last video, I love when we see Sweet Bean with a different hairstyle because typically it's just the flat looking hairstyle like that. So it's really cute. And it's in the traditional like blonde that we see a lot. Like I said so much in the first video, they remind me so much of like baby clowns, not in a creepy way, but that's what they were remind me of for some reason. I love their little nose and then their cheek blush. It's so cute. So we'll take a look at her accessories. She's got two little ones. I, I switched scissors because the last one sucked. So we have a little plate with, I think that's on the ice, and then the ketchup bottle. So I think this one goes here. And then I think the ketchup bottle just goes here. Oh my god, again, these accessories just put these figures over the top. This is just 
absolute cuteness. It's like she's serving the little dish and then coming with some extra ketchup in case you want it. So we'll take a look at her card real quick. So I like the yellow background and this one is called Maid Cafe. So it's really cute. And again, I love that this yellow matches her aesthetic perfectly. So we got some more accessories. Oh my god. What even is this? This is so cute. I love this. I love that sometimes they add little bear ears to everything, which I didn't mention that in the Gashapon machine. He even has little bear ears, which just takes the cuteness to another level. This is absolutely adorable. He looks like he's a little gamer or a race car driver. The back of his outfit says sweet bean. And again, he just looks like he's wearing a big old diaper. And look at his shoes. They look like little robot feet. This is so cute. And I've always always forget to mention but the bottom of their feet say sweet bean and pop mart so that's really cute so we'll open up his accessories real quick hey we got a surfboard i don't know what is that <laughs> and a gun maybe i don't know this is really cute so i think no that does not look like no well, this does not look like it's gonna fit but i will try my darndest just don't want to break anything Okay, there we go. That went on there, and then I assume this one got... Well, not like that. <laughs> okay, this looks like a water gun. This is so cute. Okay, so there we go. I think this is a little shield. It has the letter B and says sweeping, and then his little water pistol, laser tag gun. I don't know. It's so cute. We'll take a look at his collector card, and this is a really nice lilac color, and this one is a cyborg soldier, so I don't know if he's a gamer or something, but this is really cute. All right, guys, so we're on to the very last one for the video, and I think I'm still definitely wanting to see arcade games, so let's see who we get. All right. Oh, cute. I don't remember this one. What is this one? This one's so cute. He just looks like a little sailor. I love the little stars on his diaper. And this is definitely a different color brown on the hair than we've seen before. So I really like this one. He definitely has an accessory somewhere because he has little holes in his hand. So let me check for that. Okay, so I found it. It was just in the box because it's quite big. Here we go. Oh, this is cute. This is kind of like when you go to an event or you go to a wedding and they have like photo props and everything. That's adorable. And it says Sweet Bean 6 28 2021. So that is so simple yet so cute. So we'll take a look at his collector card. It's a very nice pink color. And this one is called Photo Sticker. So that's really, really cute. I know that in Akihabara and other places in Japan, photo booths are super, super popular. So this is a perfect figure. I absolutely absolutely love this one. All right, friends. So that's absolutely everyone we're opening for this video. Yet again, my expectations were blown away. My favorite thing about these is that they could just be the basic little figure, which are so cute on their own. But the added accessories, even though they're little and simple, and the collector cards just put these figures over the top. They are so absolutely cute. I love how each accessory goes perfectly with the figure and makes them, like I said, just that much cuter. The first video where we opened the first four was absolutely amazing i loved each one of those figures the quality was perfect and these ones are even better they're so cute i loved every single one of them and the quality on these is really really good as i say in almost all my videos i thought i knew which one was going to be my favorite but every time i opened one i was like nope this is it nope this is it so it's definitely a little bit of a challenge to pick my favorite but because i was the most excited to see the gotcha pawn machine and it's honestly just one of the the cutest ones I've opened so far and the accessory is just perfect. The Gotcha Pond Machine is definitely going to be my favorite for this video. If that one wasn't in the video, it would be the Maid Cafe figure, but since he's in the video, that one's my favorite. In the comments below, definitely let me know which one is your favorite out of the four and why. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it really does help out the channel. Also, make sure to subscribe as well as turn on that notification bell. That way you can be notified of when the final part of this series unboxing goes up on the channel. Other than that, I want to thank you guys so so much for watching and i will definitely see you in the next one bye friends <music>